Well, let's get more on the president's economic plan for that. Let's bring in New Hampshire Senator Judd Gray. He joins us live from Washington. He thinks the Obama administration is breaking its promises and not protecting taxpayers. Senator, welcome. So why is the administration breaking its pro promises, not taking care of the taxpayer here? Well, TARP money, uh, first off, it doesn't exist in the terms that they're talking about. It's just borrowing. Uh, the difference between what TARP has spent and what TARP is authorized to spend doesn't exist. It's not like in a draw somewhere that's cash that's sitting around down at the Treasury. Uh, it actually would have to be borrowed from China, most likely. So basically, if they're going to use uh, TARP money to pay for the stimulus, they might as well just go out and borrow the money and not claim tarp money. This is just this is just a political cover. This is a way to well, put some, try to put some nice dressing on what is basically a borrow and spend proposal here uh, under a new stimulus initiative because there isn't any money in tarp to borrow. Well, let me ask you though: Are you supportive of the, the administration going out and using some more federal funds to help stimulate the economy? I mean, the unemployment in your state is certainly not as bad as what we're seeing at the national level, but nonetheless, there are a lot of folks out of jobs here. Listen, I would be supportive of it if it would work, but let's be honest about it. They just borrowed $800 billion from our children. But they didn't spend it on stimulus. In fact, half of that money hasn't even been spent yet. It's going to be spent after the year 2012. And that money is going to go right to our debt. It's going to be borne by our kids. They're the ones who are going to have to pay for that. And so we're going to go out and do another $200 billion on top of the $800 billion that we've already borrowed from our kids. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense at all because of the fact that we don't have the money. We, it's not like the federal government's running a surplus here. We have to borrow this money from China, and our kids end up paying that bill. And the money's not going to be available to benefit this economic cycle as a very practical matter. Uh, it just isn't. We've already seen that in the original uh, stimulus initiative. You know, the original stimulus initiative was supposed to keep unemployment at about 8 percent. We're already over 10.5 percent or 10.2 percent. All right. So, Senator Gregg, what would you suggest that we do about unemployment? I mean, clearly something needs to be done when 10 percent of the country that's looking for jobs can't find a job. Uh, short of spending more money, what would you suggest? Well, let's give, uh, let's give the small business people in this country who are the people who create jobs a break. You know, the simple fact is that they're looking at this massive new health care bill. I had a small businessman come up to me a couple weeks ago. He said he had 15 employees. He said he'd asked his accountant how much this health bill was going to cost him. They said $200,000 in penalties and new taxes. He said, well, I'm not going to add any more employees. In fact, I'm going to have to let some go. I'm not even sure I can survive that type of a bill. So let's, let's not hit the small businesses of this country with that type of a tax bill. Let's not hit all businesses in this country with a massive cap-and-trade sales tax. I mean, what you've got out there is a, is a business climate which is very uncertain about the taxes, the health care costs, and the energy costs that this administration is headed in their direction, has directed towards them as a result of a very expansionist government policy. I mean, basically, this, this administration is trying to take our government down the road of a European-type government. You know, Senator Gregg, I, 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 get, the government I, get your, I get your point about helping small businesses, but, I mean, my understanding is the best kind of way to reduce the deficit to GDP ratio is to boost growth and jobs to help folks get off of all those safety net programs. They're costly to the budget. Got 10 seconds here. Now, I mean, you don't we, do that with the government. Uh, you don't do that with the government putting on a lot, a lot of new programs. You do that... Uh, preferably by cutting taxes to uh, small businesses and cutting taxes uh, to uh, entrepreneurs okay. who are willing to take risks. All right, we All right. get a run. Senator Judd, thank you so much.